Hi, I'm Kimberly Trion, and I'm going to insert and discontinue a peripheral IV. Uh, I'm going to start by doing my hand hygiene, place my gloves. I'm going to gather my supplies. I have my catheter. Uh, my IV start kit, my extension tubing, and a non-expired uh, normal saline flush. Um, we're going to start by preparing all of our equipment. We're going to flush our um, extension tubing. All right, we're gonna flush and make sure that there is no air in the line. We're gonna put that to the side. Uh, my patient is a 75 year old male who's here for fluid rehydration. We're not anticipating surgery. We're not anticipating blood products. Um, so I'm gonna uh, insert a 22 gauge. So we will pull that out. Um, I have my IV start kit. We're going to apply our tourniquet four to six inches above our anticipated um, IV site. We're going to ensure it's not too tight and that he still has a peripheral um, pulse uh, distal. We're going to start by cleansing the site. We have alcohol, so we're going to do circular motions inside working our way out. We're going to allow that to dry. We are going to anchor our, um, our vein down. We are gonna pull the skin a little bit taut and we are gonna insert our IV catheter bevel up. We are going to advance it until we get flash in the chamber. We're gonna lower our ankle slightly and advance it another quarter inch to ensure that catheter makes it into the vein as well. We're going to feed our catheter off, tamponade, Release our needle. Needle goes into the sharps container. Pop our tourniquet. And we're going to attach our extension tubing. We are going to aspirate for blood and then we will flush. Uh, we're going to look for any signs of infiltration. So any um, uh, bleb forming with that uh, saline push, any pain, discomfort. Uh, discoloration, any signs um, that we need to restart that IV. We'll clamp off our tubing and we will discard our saline. Um, ideally, we have a lure lock uh, cap for this extension tubing. Uh, if not, then we will get a sterile cap to um, ensure that that end remains sterile. We are going to place our tegaderm so that our IV site is visible as well as um, the connection point uh, between the catheter and the extension tubing. And we will remove that wrapper. We will tape down our extension tubing, loop it up and around, and tape it ensuring that it doesn't get taped over uh, the tegaderm. Then we're gonna label our dressing. We're gonna place um, the date, the time, the gauge, the length, and our initials. And we will place that over our, um, or on our dressing. All right, um, we will remove our supplies. Any additional sharps will go in the sharp container. All of the other supplies will go in the trash. Discard our gloves, do hand hygiene. And we'll document that procedure. When we are ready to discontinue our um, IV, then we will verify that our um, orders are in. We will do our hand hygiene and place our clean gloves. All right, we will remove our tegaderm. 
and making sure that we hold our catheter, discard that. We will discard the tape on the extension tubing. We will take our sterile gauze, fold it, and with a little bit of pressure, we will withdraw uh, slow and steady our catheter. We're gonna hold pressure for at least 30 seconds, if not more until bleeding is controlled. Uh, we're gonna inspect our catheter for integrity, length, um, and we will discard this in our sharps container. All right, and when we are ready and bleeding has been controlled, We will place a new sterile gauze over our site and we will tape it. Discard all of our supplies in the trash. If we have any sharps for any reason, that will go in the trash. Take off our gloves, discard those, perform hand hygiene, and we'll document our procedure.